Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad, this is the Firefighters Furniture Toolbox. If you're new here, take a look around the site. I have over 200 videos on finances, investing, taxes, and how to become a better financially stable person. Today I want to talk about a subject we've talked about in the past, and that's your savings rate. You guys, saving is the most important thing you can do for your retirement. How much you save, but more importantly, how early you start saving. So, I've talked to you in the past and said that a 20 year old could start with $95 a month, and by the time he was 65, he would have a million dollars. If you're 30, you have to save $270 a month for the rest of your career to reach that million dollar mark. If you're 40, that number jumps to $780 a month. So I like having tools to let me check how I'm doing, kind of encourage me that things are good. Now I've told, talked to you guys before about the Money Guy Show and if you haven't checked out their channel you guys, they're really, really good. These are guys that are actual financial guys. One's a CPA, one's a certified financial planner. But they have some tools on their website, which I'm gonna take a look at one. And they have what they call their wealth multiplier. Now you guys, you have to do put your uh, email in to get this, but it's, it's a good tool. And I, I'm gonna take a look at it really fast. It says, how much, you, how much to save every month to become a millionaire? How powerful are your dollars? As it turns out, very especially the earlier you start saving. Just take a look at your wealth multiplier by age to see just how powerful, and they call it their army of dollar bills, can help you reach millionaire status by your target retirement age, which is 65. And as you can see, they've got a little graph here, but the cool thing, and the, way I, the one I really like, is how much money do you need to save per month to reach millionaire status, and then a mathematical breakdown and they have what they call their wealth, wealth multiplier. So you see it's broken down by each year, you guys. Now they start with a 20 year old averaging 10% returns. And then every year that percentage goes down 0.1% till it reaches 65 and you're down to 5.5%. Now obviously the stock market doesn't track in a linear thing, but the more time you have, the more chance you have for bigger returns. Their wealth multiplier at age 20, you guys, is 88 times, 88.35. So what this is saying is whatever your account balance is, you can multiply it by this number and theoretically that's how much money you could have at age 65. So let's say that you're 25 and you have $10,000 in an account in a Roth. That has the capability of multiplying itself 44.04 times over you guys. So you could take that $10,000 and turn it into $440,000 in 40 years. And you see when you get up to 30, it goes down to 23.06. 35, it's already down to 12.69, you guys. Now I'm 51 years old, so at 51 years old, my multiplier is only 2.62. So if I only had $100,000, by the time I was 65 and I didn't, if I didn't add any more, theoretically, you guys, I would only have $262,000 in my account. This is the power of time. The earlier you start, the more compound interest, the more time it has to do its magic, you guys, and it is magic. Uh, anyway, this is a really cool tool. I feel like if anything else, it tells you where you should be, but as I said, you can also plug in your numbers, right? You can look at how much you have in your Roth IRA and how much you have in your 401k and add those balances together and then multiply it by that number and say, hey, if I kept going at this, I could have this much money by the time I retire. And you guys, that's a pretty powerful thing. A lot of people are nervous about investing now because let's face it, the market is volatile. There's a lot of things going on. But here's the thing, the younger you are, you guys, the more volatility is on your side. You want volatility. 
that gives you more opportunity as you keep adding money to the kitty for that money to grow even more. When, when the stock market is on high, when everybody wants to invest because it's doing so well, that's actually the worst time. When the market dumps, that's the best time. Right now we got it going up and down. The stock market is crazy. It does what it does. It goes up and it goes down. One day it's up 3%, the next day it's down 5%. It doesn't go straight up, but it always has gone up over time. And that's what you have to think about. Volatility is your friend. Time is your biggest ally in investing, you guys. So the earlier you start, the bigger those balances will be when you need to use them in old age. All right, I hope you got something out of this. If you did, you guys, drop me a like. If you're not already subscribed, as I said, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. You get notified every time I make a video, try to make at least once a week. Uh, if you haven't taken a look at what I've got out there, look through my video selection, look through some of the playlists. There's something there for everyone. If you find a video that you think one of your friends might be interested in, you guys, share it to them. Share it on social media. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you.